How's it going, guys? Awesome Soul here. And you guys seemed to like my larger ship build last time, so I figured I'd try my hand at building something a bit smaller. So I've got two small ships here. Uh, this one I have called the Blood Fin because it is red, and it looks kind of like a shark. Sort of, kind of. It's got two fins there. Um, this one I'm not too sure on. I'm thinking about maybe a manta ray, stingray, sort of name for it, but it's not finalized yet. So, uh, this video I'll be flying these around a little bit, but more importantly, I'll be covering the topic of thrust. So as you can see here, I have two large thrusters and three smaller thrusters as my main unit of thrust. Uh, this one it's all small thrusters. So I'll come back to this in a second, but just to give you an idea, I would classify these both as medium weight ships, just so you know. Uh, this one is an experiment. <laughs> it's incredibly ugly, but it was my attempt at making a light ship. So if we get in here, there we go, that is 42 tons. And this one, I believe, is 108 tons, so it's a lot heavier, but it's just got a lot more armor on this thing. So if we come up here, I'll just give an example of how fast this thing accelerates. So this is going fairly quickly. Uh, so I'll fly back to this asteroid and back and just give you an idea of how much thrust each thruster gives. Uh, one small thruster only provides 12,100 newtons of force, or thrust, whichever you prefer. And a large thruster, while obviously larger in size, gives off 145,500 newtons of force. So it's quite a lot more. Uh, as you could see by the smaller ship I had back there, uh, I was thinking of possibly getting rid of those smaller thrusters and replacing them with one large thruster. I just need to sort of extend the armor out a bit because sliding all over the place here. I was navigating around an asteroid with them, and I bumped an exposed large thruster, and it just came shearing off. So, you're going to want to make sure those, uh, those thrusters you have are completely covered, because they're fairly fragile, and you don't want to lose them. Just land here. There we go. Uh, so, if we come back here... I do have room for the large thrusters, but uh, just to give you an idea, hold on, let's see, <laughs> pull up my notes here. Uh, so uh, here, so these six thrusters I have here, you'd think, okay, they sort of take up the same space, wouldn't they provide the same thrust as one large thruster? Well, no, not quite. So you have these six thrusters here, plus these six thrusters here. And you would need, so you need slightly more than 12 thrusters of the small variety to equal the power of just one large thruster. So, keep that in mind. T the 12 thrusters that I have here, the smaller ones, actually weigh slightly more than at one large thruster, and having one large thruster as opposed to these 12 smaller ones actually weighs substantially less. So in the long run, if you're for your main thrust system anyways, uh, sort of side thrusters are okay, but for main thrust it's definitely a good idea to have as many um, large thrusters as possible. So I'll hop in here and just give you an idea of how much slower this thing accelerates. 
in its current state. So this weighs 93 tons, which is around the same weight as the blood fin. So as you can see, it's uh, accelerating a lot slower. So this thing essentially has one large thruster and two large thrust or two small thrusters. Sorry, that's another way to think of it. So yeah, definitely a whole lot slower. I'm just going to turn around now because taking a full lap is not going to be the greatest thing. Um, so yeah, so just to recap, you're going to need to cover up the thrusters especially if you have mostly large thrusters, because losing one of those is going to be a huge hit to your speed as opposed to losing a few small thrusters. So I guess uh, it's up to you how you want to design your ship, but I would definitely recommend using larger thrusters. Coming in for a... <laughs> smooth landing here. Hopefully I don't bump it. Come on. There we go. Alright, so hopefully I gave you guys some inspiration and you learned a thing or two about thrusting. Uh, yeah. So, if you want more Space Engineers, I was thinking about doing some sort of review show where I review community ships. I don't know if you guys are looking for that. But, uh, yeah. So, awesome soul out. See you next time.